Hello everyone. Welcome to Water Universe. In this video we'll see about <coughs> Can you give some water? <coughs> Excuse me. Just take How can I drink? Can you filter it? In this video, we'll see about the X-ray beam filtration. Now let's get started. In most of my videos, I have explained about this. That is, the X-rays which is produced from the X-ray tube is not monochromatic. It is a polychromatic X-ray beam because the electron will interact with the different energy shells in the target atom. Because of that, there will be a difference in the X-ray energy. That is, from low energy to higher energy. Okay, and also these low energy X-rays will not travel in the same direction. You get going to scatter from the target, and some will travel in the path of the primary X-ray beam. So the main main purpose of using this filter is to absorb the low energy x-ray photons photoelectrically in the x-ray tube and originally we are going to add some filters to absorb the low energy x-ray so here in x-ray tube we have uh, two different types of uh, filters and one is uh, inner and filter and then another one is added filter so here the inner and filter is basically the x-ray tube components acts as a filter so the x-ray tube glass and the oil which is present inside the x-ray tube and tube housing acts as an inner and filter and it absorbs the low energy x-rays which is scattered from the target The another type of filter is the added filter. This is the most important X-ray filter because the low energy X-ray is, is going to travel in the primary X-ray beam. So it's going to reach the patient and it will attenuate in the patient's body and increase the patient dose. So we have to avoid this low energy X-ray. So a thin sheet of aluminum is placed in between the X-ray tube window and the collimator. So it acts as an added filter there. The main reason for using aluminum is because of its low atomic number that is 13, it can absorb the low energy X-rays efficiently from the primary X-ray beam. In higher capacity X-ray machines, we'll use more than one or two added filter in the X-ray tube. So we used to call it as compound filter. The most commonly used co compound filters are aluminum, copper, tin, and then molybdenum. The overall, the total filtration can be calculated by adding the inner filter and the added filter. So the X-ray tube which works above 70 kp we should have around 2.5 millimeter aluminum equivalent total filtration okay not all the x-ray tube will have same total filtration if you take ct we are using more x-ray factors there so the total filtration is more in the ct and in veterinary radiography we are taking a radiograph of animals animals are very thicker than human beings so we need higher x-ray energy producing machines so what i'm trying to mean is the filtration is very in different x-ray modalities according to their x-ray production capacity okay and at last there is another type of filtration which is not permanently fixed inside the x-ray tube it is used when we need uh, during some situations that is a compensating filter so this compensating filter is used to maintain the optical density in the radiographic image okay we have many types of uh, compensating filters uh, in that i'll say some important filters that is we have wedge filter trough filter bow tie filter this bow tie filter is the most important filter in the ct scanner and then we have a conical shape filters this is used in fluoroscopy and that's it I think this video is useful for you. If you have any doubts or feedbacks, feel free to put comment in our comment box and we will try to make it on our upcoming videos and thank you. In higher X-ray capacity machines,